All right, we're gonna go into our squat protocol. This is great to do before any day that you're doing heavy squats or just a good way to warm up the hips, the knees, and the ankles. So we're gonna start by just dropping into a nice deep squat. We're gonna to wanna to be keeping our knees tracking in line with our toes, trying to keep our chest as vertical as possible. We're gonna be sitting down here, and at first you can just start finding some movement down in that bottom of your squat. We're gonna be sitting down here for about 30 seconds. So just try to find and get, get comfortable. You can bounce up and down, rock side to side. From there, we're gonna take our right hand and we're gonna press it on our right knee. We're gonna start pressing out at the hip. If you can, you're gonna try to extend the elbow. If you can only get to here for now, that's also fine. We're gonna be extending all the way out. We're gonna be doing 10 per side. And to the other side. To really try to find some opening in those hips. After that, we're gonna take our elbows on the inside of our knees. We're gonna put our palms together and press out here. It's a similar stretch to the one before. It's gonna be doing both at the same time. A great stretch from that inner groin. We're gonna do 10 pumps in and out. Really try to force that chest up at that bottom of the squat. Once you finish those tens, we're gonna start working on the inside of the knee. So we're gonna be staying down in that bottom of the squat. We're gonna be keeping our heel on the ground. We're gonna take the inside of our knee and we're gonna bring it down to the other side. And you're coming all the way down and all the way back. Take it nice and slow. If you can only get to about here, that's fine. Back and forth, we're gonna do 10 per side. Once you feel that, we're gonna stay in the bottom of our squat. We're gonna put our left hand down to the ground. We're gonna try to reach up with our right hand. Really try to stretch out up at the top. We're gonna do 10 of these. In both directions. All right, we're gonna start working on those toes and knees. So we're gonna rock forward over, straight over our toe and tap our knees on the ground. So we're gonna be starting that deep squat. We're gonna rotate back and forth. One, two, three, we're gonna do 10 per side, four, total of 20, five. That's it, stand up, shake your legs out and you're ready to work out. All right, I'm gonna run you through the whole squat protocol this time. So let's have everyone drop down into their deep squat. We're gonna get a little bit comfortable down here, so we're gonna sit as deep as possible. If you need to hold on to something for now, that's okay too. We're gonna stay down here for about 30 seconds, find some movement, trying to drive your chest up. Find some movement, rocking forward onto those toes. It's okay, we're gonna find some movement down here. You should start, just try to get as comfortable as possible. Try and bring your butt as low as possible. Once we feel comfortable down there, we're gonna put our left hand down on the ground, our right hand on our knee, and we're gonna start pressing out. We're gonna try to block that elbow out if we can, try to get those space in those knees, in those hips. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna to go to that left side. And one, two, three, Four, it's all right if your heel can come up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna bring our elbows on the inside of our knees. We're gonna be pressing our hands together. If you're very mobile, you can put your knuckles together. So hands together, we're gonna do 10 pumps. One, try and drive that chest up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we're gonna start working some inward rotations of our knee. We're gonna bring our knee to that opposite side. So keeping our heel on the ground, we're gonna, you can put your hands down on the ground if you need to, nice and slow. One, two, if you're feeling advanced, you can take your knees off the ground, your hands off the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, Feeling that inside of that hip too. Eight. Maybe a little bit on the outside. Nine. 
and 10. We're gonna do that left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we're gonna start working that thoracic spine. So move your feet in that comfortable position. We're gonna put our left hand on the ground and reach our right hand up to the sky. And one, back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten we're gonna be sit on that left side now right hand down to the ground and up one really feel a nice stretch two three four five six seven eight nine 10. All right, we're gonna start working on those toes and knees. So we're gonna rock forward, over, straight over our toe, and tap our knees on the ground. So we're gonna be starting that deep squat. We're gonna rotate back and forth. One, two, three, we need 10 per side. Four, total of 20. Five, six, seven, eight. It's all right if you don't land back in that squat every time. Nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, it's all right if you need to put your hands on the ground, 18, 19, last one, 20. All right, let's drop back into our deep squat. Shift around a little bit more, shake out anything you need to. We're gonna stand up. That was a lot of time in the middle of your squat. Your hips should be feeling nice and loose by now. Shake them out, and you should be nice and mobile and ready for any squats that you need to do today.